values and beliefs, what are they and, and what's the difference between the two? We're going to talk about that today and help you see how your beliefs and values influence your life. So principle-based living, this YouTube channel is all about empowering you and helping you recognize and understand who you really are and what you are capable of in this life. We want you to live the life of your dreams and to be happy and successful and to have healthy relationships with yourself and with others. And principle-based living is all about understanding recognizing and being able to live by principles and the definition of principles are laws. So there are laws like gravity that govern the natural world in which we live, but there are also laws that govern things like relationships and happiness and success. And the three foundational principles that we talk about and always go back to because I believe that if we understand those foundational principles and we come from that frame of mind, that helps us deal with and actually identify false beliefs that we have in our life that we may be living by. And it helps us in making decisions and choices, empowering us to focus on and change the things that we can control and letting go of the things that we can't control. So those foundational principles are accountability, choice, and control. And accountability just says that I'm accountable for my life. I can't give it away. Nobody else can take it from me. Choice says that in any circumstance or situation, I have a choice about what I will think, what I will feel, and what I will do. And control is that I only have control over those three things that I have a choice over. And that is I can control my conscious thoughts, I can control my emotions, and I can control my behavior. And that's it. Everything else is just influence. So beliefs and values. What are beliefs and where do they come from? So beliefs are just thoughts. So in life, we start out, you know, as a child and things happen in our life. And uh, we have parents and other people that tell us what things are and they give us meaning to things that happen. So from their experiences, they pass those on to us. And as young children, we just accept that what we're being told is true, that that's the way that it is. And the way that the subconscious part of our brain works is when we receive information, our subconscious doesn't question whether it's true or not. It just accepts and then it looks for evidence to support it. So think about how many false beliefs we could have that is governing our life and the way that we feel, the way that we behave, and the way that we think when things happen in our life. It's stuff that has been taught to us and we don't question it because we just believe that it's true. So we have thoughts and then those thoughts, repeated thoughts create beliefs. So then beliefs become a little bit more general. And most of our beliefs, unless they're stronger beliefs, usually originate and are in the subconscious part of our brain. So we're not really even aware of what we believe. We just think that what we think and what we believe is the way that it is. An example. So um, that person is annoying me. And so I believe that the reason that I'm annoyed right now is because of what the other person is doing. I never really question and think, no, I'm choosing to be annoyed. Well, no, anybody would be annoyed with that person doing what they're doing, right? Or I buy a brand new car and somebody backs into my car. How am I going to feel? Well, people would say, well, you'd be sad or you'd be angry or, well, maybe, you know, maybe... You know, I just don't place a lot of value on things. Maybe I'm more concerned about the person that backed into my car and wondering if they are okay. We don't realize that we get to choose those things oftentimes. We just think that's the way that the world is and that's the way we are. And then values 
come below belief. So we have thoughts, beliefs, and then our beliefs create our values. And I believe that our values are more of what we are aware of. And we use values to define who we are. So we say, I'm an honest person, or I'm a happy person, or I'm a loyal person, because those are the things that we value. So to me, those are the differences between the two. So beliefs are, I feel like we're less aware of our beliefs, and yet our beliefs still drive our behavior. Our values, we're more aware of, but they're similar in that both our beliefs and our values are chosen. Most of the time, they're chosen subconsciously. So what we want to do is kind of wake up, turn our brain on, and try to become more aware of what our beliefs are, and then look at our values and ask ourselves, why do we value those things? And do we really value those things? So I just learned something that I never thought about or understood before this past week that just kind of gave me a huge aha and a paradigm shift of about how we see ourselves as an individual. Because if we see ourselves as our values, so those are the things that are most important to us. And that's probably ways in which we describe ourselves, which means in order for me to be okay as a person, then I need to be living and following my values. Because if I don't, what does that mean? If I'm saying this is what's most important to me, this is who I am, but I'm not doing it, hmm, then maybe there's something wrong with me. So here's what I learned. When we have values, we attach rules to those values. And what the rules are basically is saying, in order to be an honest person, what do I need to do? What does an honest person behave like? What does a loyal person behave like? What does a fun person? And you can look at your values. So these rules that we create about our values, that lets us know whether we're living up to our value or not. But so what I would encourage you to do is to begin to look at your values and what they are, and then ask yourself, well, what are the rules that I have put in place to, to tell me what, what do I have to be doing in order to be living this value. What I think that happens most of the time is we create rules that are almost impossible to live up to. And then the values that we don't want in our life, that we dislike, we create rules around them that it becomes things that we do all of the time. So it's interesting. We live in a world of scarcity. We live in a world that tends to focus more on the negative than the positive, focus more on what we don't want than what we do want. So really, it's only natural that we do this to ourselves. So we set ourselves up to fail, to not live up to the values that are important to us. And it's no wonder then that we struggle with self-esteem and self-worth. And then we make poor choices because we don't feel good about ourselves, And it leads to depression and self-loathing and basically giving up in life. And we have that happening a lot. So here's what I would encourage you to do. Look at what the rules are that you've attached to the values in your life and change the rules. You have the power to do that. Nobody has defined what those rules are. So find those values that are important to you and attach rules to them where you are guaranteed to succeed and to live those values. Those values that you don't want, change the rules to those and make it so that it's almost impossible for you to, to follow those rules. Because the truth is, you're okay. I'm okay. We're all okay. We're all imperfect and we're all here to learn. And this life experience is, is about teaching us to learn and to grow and to become. And so in order to make the best choices that we can about ourselves, we need to feel good about who we are and we need to believe in ourselves and our potential and our capability. So go ahead, rewrite the rules to your values Make them so that they fit who you truly are and so that you can experience success in living your values every day and see what that does to change the way you see and feel about yourself and ultimately the way you live your life. Thanks for watching today. If you like what you hear on our channel, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about who we are, what we do, and 
what we teach and how you can become involved, visit our website of principlebasedliving.com. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn, make sure you follow me here.